Hi, this is Dave. Um, going to start doing some more vintage electronics uh, for uh, my new YouTube account because the other one got deleted and they haven't reinstated it, so I don't know what to do about it. But anyway, we're waiting for our first snowfall. Should be um, uh, later tonight, early tomorrow. They're saying two to four inches for us in uh, northwestern Massachusetts. But anyway, that's not why I'm here. I'm going to show some more vintage electronics. Um, this here is a Western Electric Touchomatic um, uh, rust color uh, uh, with the memory dialers here on the side. This is nice because this one actually, I've, I got this on eBay for under 20 bucks. I've never seen one this cheap. Uh, the cord on it is, it looks like about an original 25 foot cord. Um, and this is only for the desk. And it says Western Electric on it. And here's the control for the electronic. This one has an electronic ringer, which is very similar to a Trimline 210. And it has the, and this is only a desk phone. And it has the modular jack there, which is actually in perfect condition. This phone actually works. I don't know if you can hear the dial tone. And it has a Merlin style, Merlin style handset, which I, I've always wanted one of these phones, but never, uh, I bid on them before on eBay, but I never was bid enough high enough to get it. But, but this one was under 20 bucks. This one's in perfect condition. I, I do have it hooked up to a phone line. So here's the buttons. They're like, um, like, uh, membrane type no not membrane but they're uh remind me of the old calculator type buttons on the old ones and what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna test it we're gonna test the ring so let me grab my other phone up here this one here is another vintage one it's a unit an ex um uh, this is the ex 965 this is a two-line digital 900 megahertz phone and I'll uh, make a call into it here, and uh, so you can hear it ring. It's ringing a second here. Of course, I have other phones ringing in the room too here. And the bell one you hear ringing is the uh, the pay phone. I'm gonna make another video of that phone. Um, I'm gonna make another video of that phone um, pretty soon, and uh, I hear fine on that. And uh, the audio is a, a a little low in it, but it has a condenser mic, which I wasn't sure. Um, obviously, it's too small for a carbon uh, carbon type microphone, uh, but uh, this is probably for this time maybe 83 maybe. Um, for that time, this is right one of the most advanced phones I actually had. There's no redial on it, and it's touch tone only. It doesn't have tone pulse switchable. Um, but you can put memories. The red one, I guess, be for emergency. And when it has underneath here, the guy said he couldn't get any of the buttons to work well. The battery <laughs> was dead, and uh, that was the only reason why. It has instructions on how to operate it. As you can see here, um, it's really interesting how you program this. There's a button here. You had to turn the programming on. So since I didn't, I took the battery out because I wasn't using it. It'll make a beep noise, and then you choose which location you want. Then the phone number. Um, actually, you, you hit the on thing, and then you choose the phone number, and then uh, you press the button you want it to store it on. No, you press the store button first, then dial it because it'll beep twice. It does work. It does work, but these are actually getting so rare to find. And look, there's no nobody wrote anything on the index card, which is kind of which is kind of nice. And it says uh, got the little bell symbol with the touchomatic symbol at the top. I'm gonna try to hold on to this phone because, like I said, these are uh, very difficult to find. And occasionally I see one or two on eBay. Uh, I saw a yellow one on there. But they wanted a starting price was like 40 bucks. So um, there's really not much 
use of this phone, um, as in scratches or, um, I don't know how much use it got, but, um, got this one really for a great deal, so, uh, the orange cord is actually, I found a website where it's more like a rust color, not really bright orange, that you can actually replace these, um, so, and the clips are actually in good shape, I don't want to mess with them because this cord's probably 20 years old, if not older on this phone, so, but I got more vintage stuff I'm going to do. Um, I'll do one of the payphone next. Or actually maybe if we get some snow. I'll make some uh, videos of the snow. And uh, post them. Which, which would actually be um, our first snowfall here in northwest Massachusetts. Um, should be probably um, tomorrow. Um, or the next day. Um, I'm actually going to show. Um, I don't know what else I can show here. Um. That I have that's really kind of vintage, but uh, this is a really nice old push button phone. I thought you'd like to see it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.